you develop over the years, you have a, a strong sense of form, you have a desire to record, put paint down on paper, you want to draw things, you see things differently, you have to be open to looking at something and finding something beautiful about it. I'm Stephanie Crisp and I'm a working artist. I've always painted. In fact, art has always been part of my everyday life. There was always paper, paints for me as a child. The school I went to didn't have a, a, an art program, um, so I'd never really thought of going to art school. Um, so it was just a progressive thing that happened. And I just learnt very quickly to see beauty in ordinary things. I eventually went to Teachers College, got into teaching and ended up teaching art for many, many years. I learnt off the students and they learnt off me. When I think about my own work, apart from taking the beauty of some of those students, some of the way they saw things, um, I did always have a strong structural feel about my work um, and you can see that in some of the port paintings. You know, I love architecture, I love looking at buildings, I love light and shade, but at the same time, I love the freedom of putting paint onto a knife and creating art that way. I get my ideas from day-to-day -day life. I like strong colour. The tools I use are uh, brushes, palette knives, I like palette knives, um, my hands sometimes. I'll use anything to paint on, anything that can sustain an image, I will use. <laughs> to me, art is my passion. It's a way of expressing myself. When I'm feeling lonely or down or happy, art will put me back on the right track. My favourite subjects to paint, I think, are boats. I saw in a newspaper once uh, a photograph of a fishing boat and I've still got it and it must be about 30 years old and that has formed the basis or the template for a lot of my work, the shape of that fishing boat, just beautiful. <laughs>